It's almost there. Oh, I can see it. What is it? What is it? I reckon it's a rankin, but I don't want to say that. Yeah, it is. Oh no, it's a big cod, man. Big. Another big herder. Oh, but. Hopefully this one's under the metery. That might be capable, to be honest with you. Man, they put up a great fight, those things. They just turn into big logs. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've just pulled up this big guy. 90 centimetre big black spot cod in 60 metres of water. So usually we would ideally release these guys because they're not our favourite tasting fish, but they don't release well at all. He would probably just float on the surface and be dead anyway. So we'll keep him and he'll feed us, give us a few good feeds for a few weeks. And yeah, we'll drop back in and see if we can get something a bit yummier. Oh. Oh. Go, Bob. Oh. Yeah! Oh, wow! Go on. Dropped it again. Go on. Damn, that was a good fish. <laughs> hey, give him that. Alright, I don't plan on losing it this time. Oh, yeah. Go on, darling. First red of the day. Calling it. It's not a massive fish, but it's got these good little head shakes that keep showing themselves. I'm gonna call it for a 50 something red. Rankin. Oh! Scratch that. That's actually really embarrassing what I called it for. That's super embarrassing. That's why you never call fish. It's been that long since I caught a red. Oh, here we go. There's a 40 something ranking, so. Nowhere near what I wanted, but we'll actually take that because these are tasty little buggers and they don't release very well, so. One ranking for the bag. Okay, this is the exact rig that I caught that massive cod on. So we've just got a little slab of red throat emperor there on a 250 gram hybrid. So let's try again. All right, I'm not going to call this one because the last one I just called I got completely wrong. I actually don't know what to call this one for. Similar size, I think. Hopefully it surprises me. Oh. Uh -huh. Poor form. Uh. That's why I didn't know what to call it for. <laughs> hey! They're really yummy though. We won't be eating that one, he'll be going back. There it is. Please be a fish. That actually feels what? like a fish. Oh, I've got a big fish on. <laughs> yes. It's going to be a very good fish. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a nice fish. I know that much. No, nah. this is this is big. Come on. It's not fighting like a red. But it's got a few kilos in it.
What is that? Probably another Rankin. Here's another Rankin. Slightly better one than the last. Okay, so another Rankin cod just pulled in. Slightly bigger one, this one. We don't really want to keep that pattern going. We don't really want the Rankins. They're delicious and we'll happily have a couple. But we want to start finding the redfish. So we'll also keep this one. Dragged him up from the bottom, nice and deep. So he's done for. We'll chuck him away. We'll try to find the Red Emperor or we'll Saddle Tower. It's a good sign that we're on the right ground. <laughs> well, and he's foul hooked, so he feels like a massive fish. Another little trigger fish. We honestly thought that was a good fish then, but little rats of the sea. The old foul hook wins again. Oh. That's more like it. Oh, dropped him. Back on, yes. Oh, it's got to be a shot. It's got to be. Oh, maybe it's not. Please be a good fish. Ah, oh, that's got to be a shot. Who knows? That's oh, got to be. That's got to be. Yeah, that's not a fish, that one. Unless it's another monster cod. Oh, might be a shark with my fish in its mouth. All good, we'll check back in with you in a minute. Oh, that had a head shake then. Go on. Oh, he let go. All right, cool. Was a shark. He let go. I reckon I've got a piece of a fish left. Oh. As predicted. Oh. 
Okay, so there's half of a Spangled Emperor that unfortunately just fell victim to a shark. Pretty standard as well to get a Spango on the setup I just did, which is just a straight metal jig with a tiny bit of bait on the end. They seem to really, really love that. So, unfortunately for him, but we'll use him for bait. Smoking it. Go on. Go on. Oh, it's a shark now. Is it? It's got, yeah, that's a shark now. Right. Oh, he's got my fish. He's trying to bite through it. <laughs> on some good ground, but there's, that's the consequences. There's always sharks around. Hopefully, he lets go of my fish here. Ah. Uh. You can have half, just let it go. Oh, what's going on here? All of a sudden, I went a bit of line back on this. Definitely feels like a dead weight though. Might be what used to be a nice fish. There's no kicking, no pullback. I'm gonna cry if this is a Nice big head of something that I would have wanted. Uh, uh, oh, that might be a shark on it still, or a cobia, or even. Let's have a look. Oh, prick. It's a cobia, is it? Is that a cobia with a shark on it? It's a go here. Yeah. Oh. Right, so there's a shark there chasing my cobia. Oh, yeah, I've got a fish here. Eden's got a fish on. I'm just letting my cobia run to beat the shark. Don't really want the cobia. We've got way better fish today so far, so this guy can go back. Carnage. All right, I need to get this guy in without. Oh, he bit me up. Spewing, my leader got done. Didn't want to get tangled up in Eden's bludger over there. She got a big trevally that she thought was a shark. Easy mistake. I just lost a jig to a cobia with a little. Two foot shark behind it, so it's beyond. Okay, this is what I was pulling in while Rowan was pulling in that cobia. And these are fun to catch in 15, 20 meters, but in 50 meters, goodbye. Okay, so we've just moved, well, we're looking for a new spot because the sharks have been on our case a little bit. So, but we're doing all right so far. We've got that massive cod, Got a rankin, but we want something red, maybe some saddle tail, nice red emperor, maybe even a trout. So we're just kind of scouting out some ground at the moment, seeing what we can find. But yeah, weather's still really nice. We've been blessed. All right, just drop down at the new spot. Straight away, bang on. And it's definitely a fish this time. And I'm very excited to see what it is because it's just coming up like a log. It's not fighting, which is a good sign of a red or a nice, some nice bottom fish. Sign of a big cod. Love it when they just 
just come up like this. Maybe a saddle tail. Maybe a big leather jacket. Who knows? and a smaller cod. So yeah, I suspected it was a cod because they do, as soon as you get them off the bottom, they just give up usually. And there you go. Way nicer now, it's gone slack. Imagine if we're out around the rigs, scouring for ground. Dumbass. Nah, it's nice to break up the drive when you get a three hour drive back. Salmon? Oh, yep. Massive archers. Yep. Oh, go on. Got the shot. Oh. Oh. Strong run down. Oh. Hopefully, it's not another little shark like Eden just got. There's every chance it could be, but. Could be a pretty good fish too. Oh. oh man. Oh something just grabbed it. So it was a I think it is a fish, but the shark's on it. Oh yeah, I can feel the sharks eating it. Damn it. Wonder if it's gonna be red when it comes up. I'll be curious to know what the initial run was, but I definitely feel it. Stop having a crack at it, that's a shark again. I'd like to know what the fish was, so I'll just let the sharks have their portion, hopefully. I can either be happy or sad when it comes up and it's a, probably a red, because sharks don't tend to eat the epoxy fish. What is it? It looks yellow. It might be another spango. Oh, it's a big shark under it. And it is a red. Bugger. Damn it. Oh, it's a big trout. trout. Jesus, that would have been a monster. Well, that would have probably been my PB trout, I reckon. I reckon it would have been. That is a massive big trout head. Spewing there, so. And that shark was massive underneath it. Oh, there it goes behind you. Wonder if the camera can see it. But uh, if even gets a close up here on this one. That's a mammoth trout head, that. There's absolutely no way I would have shot a bigger trout than what that would have been, I reckon. That would have been every bit of 750. Gone to the sharks. 
lingering around like a bad smell now. Just over the side of the boat there. guys have just missed the last hour where the wind blew up and we started making our way in because we didn't want to be 70 k's offshore for a 15 knot ride back in. We decided to drop on some near some old marks. But the weather's glassed off again. Yeah the weather's glassed off again now. I just had a hybrid hanging over and I think a shark's... I think a fish has hit it but I reckon a shark's nabbed it but I could be just completely wrong. So, let's see what we've got. I'm going to say a big Chinaman. No, nah, it's a Trev, it looks like. Which makes oh, perfectly yeah. good sense. Feels like a fish then it feels like a shark because that's just how they fight, they fight that hard. They're a fish one second. Next they're just thumping away, so... Buggery, I'll release him. Not interested in that fella, but good bit of fun. We just both had our lines in and we were just going to troll slowly to a new spot. And I've just grabbed Rowan's rod because it's gone off. Could be a nice little fish here. What is it? I see it. it. Might be a little saddle tail or a spango. Spango. Spango there, pretty nice size. Suppose we'll keep him. I'm happy to let him go, but it's up to you. Yeah, we'll let him go. We'll see if he releases. This is that Spango we just caught a second ago. I'm gonna put him back because we don't need him, so he can swim off to the depths. Right, we've got a fish here. It must just be not very big. Well, it was pulling very hard like it was big at the start. Maybe it was a fish and it got bitten by a shark or something. I think we're just drifting at the moment too. Yeah, shark. Mmm. Unfortunately, we aren't island camping tonight as we would like to as we have to get home But we had a really awesome day. Unfortunately, we didn't get any reds as we hoped But we're just having a little squid now before we head back in and It's been really nice conditions. We would have stayed out for a bit longer out wide But it did blow up a bit and we got a little bit scared, but then it glassed off anyway, so um, Spoon we didn't stay out there for a little bit longer, but yeah, we'll be back into it um, hopefully in the next coming weeks a little bit more. We've just been so busy as always and yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.